Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to Monster Sanctuary. This time around, we're going to the uh, library to find. Oh, well, there he is right there, Will. The next installment of the story. Oh, hey, Madamon. You come at just the right moment. I found a clue about that masked stranger in the blue caves. Am I familiar? I had a vague memory of his mask, just as you're familiar, I did, I imagine. It didn't take me too long to find something in the archives. But first off, you know all about, about the old world, right? Uh, I, I, I know we, like, came to the sanctuary after, uh, like, some bad stuff went down, but not exactly. The old world is what's outside the monster sanctuary. Our current year, 490 AC, means after creation. 490 years ago, there was a war between the first monster keepers and the kings of the old world. The monster sanctuary was created during that war, magical barriers separating it from the rest of the world. Well, anyway... Ever since that war 490 years ago, the humans of the Old World have been pursuing ways to explore all the uncharted regions of the Earth and learn all the secrets of nature. They call it science. However, there were still a great number of alchemists in many countries of the Old World during that time. Alchemy is an ever-changing craft, its results unpredictable and oftentimes dangerous, similar to magic. By 200 AC, alchemy was outlawed in all the empires of the Old World and even persecuted in some areas. But the oldest order of alchemists remained, and they fled to the monster sanctuary in secret. That's all I found out in these, in these archives. In the books here, there's nothing written about what happened after the alchemists came to the sanctuary. That's kinda odd, don't you think? There's supposed to be more books somewhere in the stronghold dungeon, which is east of the Keeper's stronghold. We've got, we've got to do the, 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 the Keeper battle training before, before we can go there, though. The Keeper battle trainer is, is in the Keeper's tower, just above this room. I'll go ahead. Hmm. You know what just occurred to me? I never checked to see. Oh, uh, I've, I've, I also, um, so I went and did uh, and, and rechallenged um, the Spectre, and I managed to pull it off. So we have Helvetica, who is our newest uh, ac acquisition, by the way. Uh, I, I didn't check our abilities. The Manticore but can light up dark rooms. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, brief, brief, brief. Very, very, very brief. Um, need to go down there. Real quick, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll just, I'll just cut there and, 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 and yeah, save travel time. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, made it to the dark area. We have our little, little friend. See, this explains why I couldn't find anything when I came in here the first time. It's up there. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. I'm wondering what actually. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna need to probably get a. No, no, I just need to learn how to jump better. In the words of Aku, you can fly! No, but I jump good. Diadem plus three. Very nice, very nice. Move nicely onto Helvetica. And uh, you guys win if you get the reference. I mean, it's, it's, it's not technically our reference, but... Um, they're, they're... Well, I mean, I... I you... I'll talk... Bleh, I can't speak. You know what I mean. Um, it's like Sans and, and uh, Papyrus from Undertale. You know, there's their skeletons named after fonts. So, Helvetica. Figured uh, it was time for a female-sounding one. Although, it's, although the font was actually made by a guy, if I recall correctly. So, um, you know, it doesn't especially matter. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> Don't mind me just doing Matt stuff. But yeah, I'll see you guys back at the uh, plot. Alright, so we'll mention there was a Keeper Trial around here somewhere. This is where the champions are. How this guy see anything? This is the Keeper's Tower. To access some of the rooms here, you'll need to reach a certain monster rank. Current rank is Keeper Novice, rank 2. You need one more champion to, to, reach, to, to become Keeper Seeker at the next rank. Hmm, cool. Um, training? Infinity Arena... Dual circle. I'm oh, sorry, I can enter here, but I don't think this is where I'm meant to go. Oh, maybe it is. The keeper dual trainer said that he wants to talk to you first for some reason. I'm a little bit anxious, but I think I'll be fine. I'm gonna admit I I I'm on the rules for, for these duels beforehand, just to be safe. No oh, reading is good. Well done, you've beaten enough champion monsters to qualify for keeper dual training. This training will complete your initiation as a keeper novice. It's a step every legendary monster keeper takes at some point. Technically, Will hasn't beaten enough champion monsters yet for his training. However, we've decided to make an exception in this case for two reasons. For one, we need at least two aspiring keepers f for this training. So you have to wait for Will, or, or, or another new keeper, to beat enough monsters. Or champion monsters. 
But even more importantly, we feared that it might take a, t t a long time for Will to achieve that. His parents say he's always got his head in the clouds and he just, just isn't the type to go adventuring and monster fighting. However, he's a very smart and talented young man. We hope that this training will give him a confidence boost by showing him what his monsters are capable of. But I'm not telling you to hold back on him. Feel free to use this, this opportunity to test your own skills, too. Alright, Will. Come over here. I'll explain the rules of Keeper Dueling to the both of you now. I'm Keeper Duel Trainer Gotthelm, and it is my task to teach young viewers about the rules of dueling. For a thousand well, yeah, as in it's, 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 it's time to duel? Hmm. For a thousand years or more, humans have settled their disputes by letting their beasts fight as their, their beasts fight. Wow. Uh, did, the, did, did the beasts not complain about this at all? However, only when the Monster Sanctuary was created, the first Monster Keepers established a fixed set of rules for this kind of thing. Firstly, neither Keeper nor Monster is to be seriously injured during a Keeper duel. That should be a given to both of you anyway, but it is customary for me to repeat this rule. In a Keeper duel, each Monster uses their full team of six monsters. But as always, a Keeper may not use more than three monsters at once. If the monster gets knocked out, its Keeper may switch in one of them as from their team. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's even more like a Pokemon battle than usual. I, I, I'm kind of down for this, though. It's cool that it's, 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 like a, it's like a special occasion to use your whole team, although I have to put gear on more of my guys, I just realized. Hmm. The turn order in a Keeper Duel is determined by chance. Ooh, chance. Okay. The Keeper who has, the, who has first turn may only, only use two of their three monsters during their first turn. As a drawback. I, that makes sense. You can't totally just stomp the snot out of them round one with all three guys. Less, uh, less, uh, less uh, combo build up, too. The Keeper who has second turn can use all of their three active monsters. The battle will then proceed normally from that point on. Items are not allowed in a Keeper Duel. I don't use them anyway. Uh, or haven't been using them, I should say. Once either Keeper has managed to knock out their opponent's team of six monsters, they have won the fight. That concludes the, the theoretical part of this training. Next, you two will face off against each other, so I may see whether or you, you truly understood the rules. Are you ready for a Keeper Duel, or would you like to hear the rules one more time? I'm ready, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm not ready, but... Yeah, let's, let's equip first. Um... Let's go ahead and pull. I mean, I I, I want to level up my guys who aren't, you know, a little, a little a like because Oscar and Shroomba, who are new by the way. I, I hatched our our uh, our uh, fungi and um, what's it called? Grummy egg. Um, I've got a bunch of level tens in here. But for some reason, they each hatch at level seven. By the way, even though everyone here was level like ten or above, seven. I think some eggs just have a particular preference. I don't know. Could not tell you. But let's make sure we have a nice, reliable backup team in here, I suppose. Alright, Caesar Ang and. Word. Oh, we know we've got our back. Caesar's got his Shuriken. There's Balance Tag. Ang's got their guitar. And the Word has the Morningstar. No, it's Claws, we prefer, I believe. Because this team is, is mostly magic, except for Shroomba, who is mixed. Um. So this team will be our, 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 our physical counterpoint. Well, let's throw it pretty, uh, actually work pretty well for you, because you're a very high crit. Uh, crit chance. Crit ring, and a feather. There we go. 54% crit is not bad at all. Honestly, like, the, the one thing, the one problem with this team I've got is that they, they tend to overlap somewhat, because uh, Aang and um, Caesar have a very similar build. They're both very crit heavy. Which is, you know, not necessarily a bad thing, per se. The word would benefit from it, too, honestly. But uh, I, I, I use him mostly for yeah, defense moment. Or just, just raw attack would be fine, too, honestly, if I had more attack items. And so far, all I have is the helmet for attack, which is kind of a couple let down, I guess. But uh, well, these mana is probably fine. I don't really need to that too much. Indoor's box for buffing. Why not? Why not? Roach gets you some crit chance. There we go. That should work fine, I guess. Let's go. Um, I think I'm ready too. Let's show them what we're made of, Matt. All right then, young keepers. One of you has to challenge the other to, to a keeper duel. Um, all right, Madamon of the Special Lion Bloodline. I challenge you to this keeper duel. Ooh, new music. Like it. 
All right, so he's got a Magma Pillar, Fungi, Rocky, Vero, Frosty, Spectral Toad. So a lot of his dudes are weak to, well, no, two, two weak to fire, one weak to air, one water, and two, no, three weak to fire. Well, starting with fire seems to make the most sense then. Let's just, let's just roll with our usual team to start with, I guess. Okay, he's got some things out. I can, I can, I can start with this, sure. He's got his buff monster out first. We probably want to take that on uh, immediately. Well, actually, actually, he's got two buff creatures. I'm not sure about the Toad. I don't know the Toad very well. Let's just, let's just of course, I, I, that's right. I go first, so I need to worry about number of moves as well, don't I? Um, that should be fine. Let's just weaken the Vero for now. I'm going to worry about um, number of moves too much. Dots on them. Safe caskets them. Barrier. Storm. That's physical, so it's physical, so it hurts my my main core more. Fire. I got a shield. All right, all right. And since we are a bit toasted, we'll focus on weakening. Working. I guess I could, I could just like apply dots to the whole party and just roll from there. It'd be a terrible idea. Because so um, I I've not shown you guys Helvetica's uh, talents yet, but basically um, they have a 10% chance on every hit to apply some kind of a debuff, which is nice. That's the wrong button. Didn't, didn't want them. I mean the burn will help them. Will help damage the, the, the worm too. But I was hoping for the. For, uh, my, my bad. Okay, I got all three of us poisoned. That's not good. Definitely didn't want that. And okay, we're gonna have to probably answer in kind. At this point, I, feel, I, 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 I guess I guess the main difference between, between a keeper battle and a regular battle is I should be less concerned about um, less concerned with who's actually like going, you know, like with a combo and all that, and just you know win. Probably would do do us, do us better to just try to win a, a bit harder, you know. <laughs> down. Oh, he's, uh, he's, 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 I, I think the Toad has, has that ability that lets it get like an extra hit in when it, when, it, when it lands a debuff on somebody. Which is not inconsiderable. If we can. Magma Pillar is going to be more difficult than I would have first thought, like, <laughs> with all that shielding. And that poison is not, uh, no joke. How fast he's melting our health with that. Jeez Louise. This frog has gotta go. You're poison yet? You do not have to do. Then you have this. It won't crack through all that shield, but it'll help. Can I seriously not just take up this frog? What are you made of? Good gracious. Alright, 
Let's get that extra zap in too. That's gonna be the end of our two of our guys. Jeez. Earthquake. 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 Well, dang. I admit, I did not expect to, to, to lose uh, the monk that fast. Our, our mushroom here is going next, unfortunately. So, um, geez, Louise, we're not having a good time, are we? We're gonna lose if this keeps up. Well, he's already chill, zap, poison, everything. So. Let's throw a poison onto his Rocky at least. Actually, let's weaken it because if, if I know Rockies, they're actually pretty tough, fairly damaging. Let's lessen that a little bit. Now, for the rest of you, don't really have the time to worry too much about buffing. That said, I mean we're not exactly proving to be powerhouses here compared to his team. I'm not, I'm not, like, we're, we're doing a lot less damage than I'm accustomed to us doing. I guess we'll just go for this guy and try to avoid any more poison. We'll say his Toad's uh, Poison Cloud ability did a lot for him. I'll uh, if, if we retry this, or when we retry this, I'm going to have to uh, definitely take more attention to that. And the Magma Pillar, honestly. I'm going to have to uh, uh, fix this team mind, because honestly, um, yeah, I did, I did not bring enough water to this fight, I don't think. Or, or I mean, I had two that, that had water, but I did not utilize them as well as I probably should have. I could really have shut down the worm a little faster if I'd gone right forward, I think. Well, there's no way we're going to 1v4 this guy, so I definitely think we've lost at this point. It's already pretty pretty apparent, but we're definitely up a creep now. down to his last two. I guess that's something. For our first uh, full-on fight. Keep your mind on more monsters in this one. You can do the fight. Man, keep your will is, is the winner. Do I have to do that again, or do I just lose? Because I'm kind of like, I would like to do it again if possible. Wow, I can't believe I actually won. He's Manamon too, even though he beat the, the beat the Minotaur. I guess I just had, to, had just had the better strategy. He did, honestly. I can't really fault that. Don't worry, kid. We'll get stronger and we'll... Beat them, beat them, beat them another time. All right, then you completed, you, you you finished du dual training. You may, you may now proceed to the other areas of the sanctuary and challenge other monster keepers you encounter. Oh, so you don't get to retry it. Okay, well I guess that's fair enough. 
Finding other, finding other monster keepers let, 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 lets you get experience points, and each keeper also has a different item reward in store for you if if you beat them. I'll head to the Stronghold Dungeon now. We've got to find those history books. I hope you'll be there too, Madamon. I hope this has helped him, helped him to to, to uh, get braver. By the way, you should keep an eye on him. Strange things are going on in, in, in the sanctuary nowadays. The number of champion monsters is completely abnormal. By the way, I offer keeper dual challenges uh, challenges uh, if, you, if you ever wish to test your skills against them. Sure. Definitely did not go as well as I would have hoped. But I suppose that's, that's what happens when you, uh, you know. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was oh. yeah, I can't speak. It's a learning experience, you know? It's all good. Um. I will say, too, that I'm a little, I, I, I like Helvetica and Cat's Eye. Uh, their, their resistances are definitely different, because, like, Helvetica is weak to all magic, but resists all physical. And actually, it takes half, uh, half, uh, effect from, from, uh, debuffs, which is very nice. Whereas Cat's Eye is just, you know, is weak to all physical, but resists all magic. So they, 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 they kind of go well together. Um, I guess I didn't have a very good, uh, I guess it wasn't very smart of me to bring along a level 8 as my third team member. Um, but basically I'm hoping to set up a, a multi-poison debuff strategy, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find um, some kind of team comp that lets me use Helvetica's uh, huge ability to like, to, like, debuff people. Um, because, like... She's got Toxin, she learns Cooling, she has access to, 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 to uh, Congeal, which makes Chill do damage based on missing mana. Uh, she can she, she, she has a, a thing here called Fatal Upkeep, which increases the damage of Poison, Burn, and Congeal. She's got... she can self-shield when she's uh, uh, debuffing people. Like, it's just, it's just debuffs, 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 debuffs. They're everywhere. It's crazy. And I really want to roll with that, so I was trying to make a, a party... You know, because um, Cat's Eye can apply all kinds of debuffs as well, because Shock, Burn, and Chill. And then, of course, Shroomba has Poison and Weakness. So I wanted to just stack up all stack up all the debuffs, you know, but Shroomba's not really ready for that yet, I guess. He's level 8, in all fairness. But we're getting there. It's all good. What kind of challenges do they have, I wonder, anyway? Dual challenge. Oh, it's just him. Okay. Multitudes of monster right here. Cage one that looks one with the challenge. Novice challenge. Seeker, Lancer, Ranger. Ooh. Uh, novice, I guess. All right. Weak to earth. Weak to water. Weak to. You know, he's got two weak to air. Two weak to earth. And one each wire. Uh, wi wire and fodder. Absolutely. Water and fire. Mm hmm. I mean, this team in theory works. He's got a lot of physical. Well, actually. Physical, 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 physical. Might be a bad time for Cat's Eye. Mm. I guess our Earth is kind of lacking them as well. I'm gonna go with Caesar instead. He was a stronger, a stronger opening presence. Okay, so let's. Got high crit usually. The Yowie is just a big old tank. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be hard for us to get around. So I kind of wanted to start there and go just get through it. Sure, I can't stack burns. It's one thing I, I don't have access to right now. Is just any kind of burn stacking. Let's start it off. We got a poison there too from uh, the venom. Nice. Voltage is not a super effective move against Yaoi, but it's an extra hit with the shock debuff. Seems like we do a tremendously, just way, way, way less damage against 
enemy keeper monsters. I, 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 I guess because 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 they have gear. That must be what it is. Start using some of these earth attacks against these guys while they're here. So we'll need to keep the monk for that. Alright, um... Probably starting with the slime as well. I don't know that burn will take care of the... For me, if I'm lucky enough, because it'll probably heal. Yeah, that's just luck I got. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. By a weakening the Kazurker. And show off the monk. And show off, if I can, the slime. There we go. Now, so we get through these three. Okay, there are two of us. Ah, I'm in such trouble then. Yeah, seems it seems my teams just really aren't set up for this, or I'm doing something wrong. Um, hmm. Let me, let me check out my enemies here real quick. He's got a lot, a lot of a lot of bulk. Like, and, and, like you wouldn't think the cat would be hard to bring down. It has a it has a very low. In the tank, you both have very low defense, and yet my my predicted damage is tiny. Grand, I guess we are. Uh, at least for sure, but he's very very under leveled. In fact, like, I didn't even crack the shield. Jeez. Something wrong, that's for sure. Um, miss. What's he got? The, what's he got? Maybe miss. Oh, spell shield. Oh, dodge magic lids. But that was a physical attack. Okay. 
Can we just have like a defense ability of some kind for dodging? Just built into it. Okay, well, I guess that's gonna be it for now. Um, jeez. Alright, about well, getting your 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 uh, your uh, your uh, reality checked. These guys, whoop my butt, good, both of them. I I, I do wish it, it, it would give you like more than one crack at will though, because like this guy, you know, he'll just sit there and let you. You know, try them as many times as you want, but having only one chance against Will, and that's like the one time you have that fight. I don't know. I, it's not a big deal. I'm just, I, I, I would, I would like a chance to, to 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 try his unique team again. Oh well. Um, so I guess that's dueling. Um, I, I did promise plot this time around, but we seem to have gotten a little distracted. I guess this was sort of part of the plot until I started fighting over again. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Uh, we'll head over to the dungeon next time around and get into the next area, and then we'll have some, you know, so we, 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 can, we, can, we can progress towards that plot. Um, but thank you so much for being here, you guys. Uh, hope you had yourself some fun. Watch me get my butt kicked, and I'll see you soon. Take care yourselves because you're worth it. And for now, Monster Matt out. Bye-bye. Crap. So, I decided I wanted another crack at will after all, um, and I realized that I hadn't act like the game only, like, because I've, I've realized that the game only auto saves when you actually enter or exit an area. Um, we hadn't actually left the room where we fought him, um, so I, I just, like, closed the game and came back in again, and I had another chance at him just to see if I could do any better now that I had a little practice. And this is what has resulted. I have only Shroomba left. My entire team is down. Both of his, like, his entire team is down. All he has left is the Frosty and his own uh, fungi, but they're both heavily poisoned. And I think I'm gonna win by poison cheesing him, and I, I could not share that. Um, also, we picked up the Infinity buff from somewhere, and I have no idea where. Like, it just, it just appeared after this last turn happened and I don't know I don't, I don't know what it is and I need to go into his skill tree and see if it's if it's from there somewhere or what maybe it's just that he's got so many debuffs on himself because we've got poison burn shock and chill on so maybe having all four of those gives the enemy some kind of a like a like a like a, a countering buff to help them I don't know but we picked pick it up from somewhere anyway so I'm gonna poison bomb the the, the fungi just in case to help seal the deal Double stack the poison. See, they, they got it too. Yeah, so I, I don't know what that was, but... But we pulled it off that time with the Shroomba, no less. I, I just... I really wanted to give it another try with some practice, because I really had no idea what I was doing the first time around. Um, basic tip I would offer for anyone trying this. Uh, don't, don't, do the, don't do what I did and try your experimental team as your f first step forward into the fight. Uh, uh, my, my, the, the main difference this time was I, I came in with, you know, uh, uh, the word Aang and Caesar as my as my first three because they're my tried and true guys. You know, I I, I know that they're all pretty pretty solid fighters. Uh, just focused on taking out, you know, one thing at a time instead of like ranging around like I was the first time around. Like I, I just wasn't taking it seriously enough. I, I guess the first time around that and I had my experimental team out. But yeah, I figured I would I would at least share this. It's 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 kind of a little 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 blip. I'll I'll put this in in in, in like the 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 credits I guess of the last episode rather than make it make it its own thing. I just wanted to share. I just I was like, yes, the Shroomba is victorious. Go Shroomba! Yay! But yeah, sorry. Anyway, um, I guess we'll see how 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 this differs as well. Earn your reward, reward box. Ooh, random item. See. Like if it, like you actually miss out on stuff if you don't win that. Wow. I mean that's kind of rough actually. Not bad, kid. And we could beat them together. But you, but you did a good job too. Well done, friend. You did a really good job raising your monsters. Your strategy was smart too. I'm just wondering what I, what I could have done differently to win. Hmm. Considering you almost had me, like I, I was I I was like I was sure he had me actually. Like, because he was poisoning me the same as last time. That poison cloud ability is a lot more effective and dangerous than I gave it credit for when I first saw it. I was like, no, you know, no, no big deal. Like, it's just a 50% a chance to poison. That's not, that, that, that's not enough to bank on. Yeah, my team disagrees. 
Anyway, I'll, I'll try and train my, my, my monsters and, and make different strategies. All right, then. You win. You finish the training. Cool. So hopefully, it's all pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. So I, I guess the only, the only real difference is you get you get the box, which contains a random item. Random in what way? I wonder. Uh, open. Mad Eye Egg. I mean, it's random, so it could be anything. I guess. What's a Mad Eye? Oh, it's like a little, 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 little eyeball dragon. Okay. Um, an eyeball dragon. I don't know what to call you. Uh, if he had a tongue, I call him Mushu. But he has no tongue. He's only just an eye. Um. I mean, we already have Cat's Eye, so let's keep up the eye theme, I guess, and call him Eye Spy. That'll work for now. I have no idea what he is. But I guess we'll check him out next time. Uh, his stats don't seem terrible, off, off first bat, anyway. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode, where we'll check out our new, uh, our new unexpected development here. And I'll see you soon. Um, yeah. Bye again!